another day, another sacred youth. Why do you do this every episode now? <laughs> I don't do this every episode. I haven't done this since like, what, like five or six? I don't remember. This, I just know that you did it, okay? This is episode 12. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Big axe. All right, Lessie, oh, right. Lessie, boys. B, B. <laughs> Hello, May. Pickaxe, at it, me. You know the drill. I'm sure they also sell drills there. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Away message. Come pick up your fight. What? Come pick up your fight. Give it's not arrows. It's pick up. It's pick your. Oh. <laughs> Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Let's see if this changed. Science beat. New research indicates that things don't necessarily have to be as bad as they are. That's true. What if I want it to be as w even worse than what it is? See, like, I mean, I mean, they're saying it doesn't have to be as bad as it ha it is. Technically, that could it's be worse. It's up to your choice. You're right. Oi. Oi. We haven't touched Demon Tower since we first saw it. <laughs> we really haven't. I, I should get to it. It's just like the past couple episodes have been so long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, mm. All right, let's go down here. All right. All right for that high-pitched mom voice. How's mom doing? I have to remember. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh jeez, mom, it's fine. It is very not very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. Yeah, mom. I'm fine. In that tone of voice. No. <laughs> you always see cars going both ways, but none actually come this way. But we just saw that car that... No, like none actually are here, like like now leaving Possum Springs. I mean... No one wants to leave Possum Springs, right? Hey, rabies! How's life? That's good to hear. Back in school, we had to write this thing, like, if you could be anywhere in, uh, 15 years, where would you be? And it was an easy assignment, because I drew it when I was 15. And it hasn't changed. Except it was 20 years then. What? I'm on a farm, or something like that. But not with, like, animals or crops or something. Maybe corn? I like cornfields. Maybe here, maybe, maybe in, like, Idaho or something. <laughs> And we're there, she's there in the drawing, she's a she. And we're married or no, like, whatever they do in <laughs> Idaho. My teacher wrote, I think they just got married. Just get married. Oh, just get married. But no, like, I mean out on the frontier. You just stay with someone long enough that it's a thing. Whatever, I can call it what I want. Anyway, we go out and wander around and do work together. And we come home and we're all gross and your face feels like it does when it's been windy all day. It's cold out and we order pizza. My teacher was like, 
on a farm in Idaho? Yeah, there's a town nearby in this drawing. It was a big drawing. <laughs> and we eat pizza and I'm playing a video game and she's making something. Like she does woodworking or she's a blacksmith or something. So she has really rough hands. Teacher was like, she's doing woodworking and or blacksmithing in the living room. And she has boots, but like mine are muddy. But hers are all scuffed up from work from the wood or the fire or something. And we have two big burly cats from a barn and a dog. And we all howl at the moon together. <laughs> Parts of it I've wanted since I was a kid. The cats and the dog at least. No children. No children. No children. <laughs> How about you, Rabies? Does Rabies want babies? Do you have big plans? Rabies babies. That's what I was thinking. Mm, too true, Rabies. Too true. Alright, I'm off. Thanks for saying hello. See you around. Be safe in the trash. And common pests. <laughs> Sometimes I worry when I'm playing May. Yeah. Because I know I have a tendency to be monotone. Yeah. I'm wondering, let me know if I get no, too monotone. Actually, I have the opposite problem. I have like too much, too much inflation and, uh, and like emotion in the voice. It sounds fake. But like I How think I like here? having you triple jumped. Oh, I didn't even having a bit of like monotone on it makes it seem more realistic, you know? Like it's like it sounds the way you would normally talk. But you and I just talk monotone norm oh. Who's this? Oh I see a police car. Oh May, get down from those power lines. Huh? Oh god. What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well? I want to let you know. We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. It's only been a few days. Actually, yeah, it's, only, it's been a week. Jesus. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. I belong to a middle-aged man, and medium build, and he was a, he was dead when it was removed. Whoa, that means... <clears throat> it doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always like detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. I'm always watching. Always watching. I really watching. want to tally for how many times you make this joke. <laughs> hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Oh, awkward. Nah, just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars. Drive across the dark and never park. It's true. They are like that. I I got one ready for the longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. I knew Summers was going to say stars so bright. Felt it. I'm, I think the longest night is like the equivalent of Christmas, I think. Oh, no Chazakov cough today. But I triple jumped. Yeah. Just for Chazakov. Just for Chazakov. cough. I feel like it was just a waste of my talents. Do you need to see the statue? I want to. B has a suit right outside her window. Constantly. Arnold stalker bomb. <laughs> oh yeah, she lives on this apartment. Yes, she does. Oh. 
Hello, P. Did you get my text? <laughs> what? No, it's the it's the statue. I know. It's just like. I guess she lives right there. <laughs> Did you get my text? That's like creepy. Okay. I wonder if we'll ever see like the tuba and accordion players. Oh man. Can we go in that crow's house? Can we? I don't know. I mean, like, I never tried all the doors. No. Oh, man. We're not talking to him either. <laughs> That's just it. Man. Never talking. Why is that? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear your snarky comments. You Are you know. sure about that? I'm sure. No, but like I was trying to say earlier, like both of us have pretty monotone voices. Yeah. Just in general. I think it's because like I'm so like self-conscious about being monotone. I like make it sound so fake and like uh, artificial emotions. Will Tuttlefish be always there? Will Tuttlefish Will Tuttledrain could all be bare? I would miss the tuttlefish. To have the back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. I mean, then don't talk out loud. I mean, he didn't see you standing there. Where's Miss Rosa? She was yeah. supposed to talk about her grandpa. I know, man. That's why I came to check, alright? Don't and the teenagers me. aren't here either. Damn. I guess they're not gonna wait here, wait around for you if they know that you're of no use to them. Uh, that's true. No um, beer, no car. Useless adult. <laughs> yeah, time to go back a bit. Or into the, or onto the roofs. Gotta, gotta visit mom. All right. Gotta make my rounds. Oh, gotta tell the pastor. Oh yeah. Didn't do that yet. The no, Bruce left. Wait, no, for a second I was on the car. Come back. <laughs> oh? New person? No, no, we've seen him around. That camo dude. Camo dude. Do you just hear the violin as we got closer? I wonder if that's a cue for if we'll find the tuba. Let's see. <clears throat> There's 24 hour mom. Seven days a week. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh geez, I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. Oh, no. um. Time to talk to the pastor. Unless pastor is looking out for Bruce. That's also a possibility. Could be. No one might be. No one could be here. Yeah, no one's here. Hey, 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 hey. On her third time, she just go. <gasps> It would motivate me to do more triple jumping, though. I like when she like jumps as she falls, like the bottom of her eyes like right up, like with the air. Oh yeah, I I didn't even notice that detail until you pointed it out. Nice. It looks like she's constantly smiling as she falls <laughs> because of that. She's like, wee. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually. I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Hot dogs. Bruce is going home. He... What? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thank 
Thanks for letting me know. Okay. Uh, I guess she knows that he lied. Yeah. Or maybe she just feels frustrated because she like worked so hard for him and now he's gone. Yeah. You know. I mean, she also did say it's out of their hands. It's up to the t it's up to the town. Did I just see something? Yes. Oh. We got statues of certain dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Okay. Yeah. I went to get hot dogs. You. You would actually die if you did that. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. Sure. Tired. Had a headache for days. You should, like, go home and rest. So, like, everyone thinks she doesn't look good. I feel like you'd be able to, like, veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Hmm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Nah, not today. Okay, well, let me know. I feel like with B, mm -hmm. I overcompensate with her monotone voice. Uh huh. And then it doesn't sound consistent. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. As long as you're conscious about the same thing every time. Yeah, I just don't. Because I just want to make sure, like, there's a slight distinction between my regular monotone voice that I sometimes do with. May yeah. versus like her constant monotone voice. Yeah, I, no, I get it. And also, we missed Lori in the back earlier. I was gonna go over later. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna go back and forth. My legs are still sore for running from that dude. I'm just sore in general, and tired, in general. My life doesn't involve a lot of running. I guess. <laughs> that happened two days ago. <laughs> I know. I feel like it. I should have some sort of clever comment to follow up on that. You can get back to me. Okay. okay. I feel you though. And then she comes back later. I got it. Dude, that's what I would do in real life though. I come back later and come up with the comeback. Yes. You kidding me? I don't care if it's been a while. I'll do it. Well, I wonder if we can take the elevator. No. Fine. May need to walk. So now we can go to other. Oh, can we see a saxophone guy again? What saxophone guy here? Oh, oh there's the another side. thing. Yeah. But can I? But we probably can't see the notes anymore. I still want to jump on it anyway. There goes the no. I'm super, super gay. Um, where was that guy? Uh, I'm sure you just keep going and there's a door. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da. Hi again. It's you, kid. I'm actually 20. I'm 38. You're a kid. Okay. How'd you find this place? I mean, I knew this was up here since I was a kid. But only got up the nerve to break in recently. Why is that? Not getting any younger. And this place could fall in any day. You get to a point in life where the number of first evers get lower. And the number of never agains get higher. I don't know. I know what you mean. No, you don't. I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. I told him about you. Playing over here. By your lonesome. 
Oh, okay. Maybe you could play together? Do you know anything about this guy? He's not a murderer. I don't think he's a murderer. Okay, well, thanks. So, so I guess you gotta keep talking to him back and forth until they play together. I guess so. Do you remember where he was? Yeah, he's on the the rightmost. Like he's like the closest from the church. Oh, so uh, that's like around Lori, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'll keep on. Germ. In a bit. Let me. Gregory. Gregory, first, and then Germ, and then we'll go back for yeah. Lori. And I think I'll start with B today. Okay. I had a plan. Hey, man. Hey. How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Geez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me? Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So what are you up to today? Just saying hey. Hey. Okay. I honestly can't say which one's more exciting, hanging out with Greg or hanging out with B, because they're both pretty intense. <laughs> <sighs> Another intense day with Germ. 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 Oh yeah. Unless Germ's not here, then... I mean, do you expect him to not be here? Yeah. Oh no, he's here! <laughs> hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious. You seem something, too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. Do you want to come? Got a trampoline. Where are, the, where are you getting this, Germ? <laughs> oh, uh. Nah, no, I'm not really feeling well. Cool, see ya. Wow, you didn't even try to, like, bait me for it. No, come back! Oh my god, no! Because usually, you know, last time I would just be like, uh, no, and then. <laughs> no, that was the last hangout with Jerry. Are you serious? That was the <laughs> Can we, like, reset this whole game? <laughs> so nothing happened, we just got to this point of the game. Beautiful! Hey, Germ! Hey, May. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen you today. I'm done. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious, you seem something, too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Well, deja vu. Thanks for your attention. Do you want to come? Got a trampoline. Sure! Alright, let's go. This is really weird. Is that not me? This is really, yeah, that's right. This is really weird. Germ is green. Why? I like... I never pictured you coming from somewhere. Thought you just like, appeared one day in the parking lot. Oh. Sorry, that was weird. It's cool. Lots of folks from town never come back up here. Got a lot of cars. My uncle are my uncles are here a lot. They fix cars with my dad. Do you drive? I bike. Better for the environment. I just keep finding things out. Of, I just keep finding things out about you. What? We're all gonna die from temperatures and water. Is this a uh, your? Tire? Nah, it's for my sisters and cousins. You have sisters? Yeah, they're out of church stuff right now. That's why I invited you over. It's like adults night here. Adults night? One night a week, no kids. I feel that. He's four, he, he's he's like eighteen or nineteen. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you should meet my mom. Should I? 
It's polite since you're eating dinner here. I was kidding. I couldn't tell. You okay? I'm nervous. Why? Come on. You didn't answer my question, germ. <laughs> hey, Mom. This is me. She's eating dinner with us. Uh, hi. Hello, May. I hope you like sloppy joes. Who doesn't? Nobody in this house. I thought you two should meet before dinner. That's very thoughtful, Jeremy. I'm gonna introduce May to Grandma. Oh, is this... Is that what this is about? What? Can I? You don't need my permission. Whatever happens is on you. What? Come on! Jeremy! Why you do this? <laughs> nice meeting you. You'll tell me. Is he... Whatever happens is on you. <laughs> For meeting Grandma. Who is... Oh no, that's Grandma. I just... Oh, here she is. Sturdy girl. My granddad said that. Did you... This is Grandma. Hello. <laughs> okay, well, see ya. Oh my god, this guy. Wait, what? <laughs> You're looking at me. Sturdy's a good word for you. Big bones, stout. Yep. So, is that it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? No. Too bad, you need to be upset. What's coming to you, little girl? It's three times the trouble you deserve. And you are going to go down hard. Not far from here. You'll go down. In these woods. Are you like telling my fortune? Little girl, I don't know what you did. You've got you've got a dark spot in you. That's one day it's gonna take a life. Might be someone else's or might be yours. Mark my words. You're doomed. Okay. Okay, I'll, uh, try to remember that. Or actually, no, this is stupid. You don't know me. Whatever it is, that's, whatever it is that's wrong with me. Yeah, I'm not just an effing shell for my problems to walk around in. Uh, uh, you got a dark spot on you. What the actual hell do you know about me anyway? I can't stop what's coming. But ask... But ask you a question you can't answer. Can you unhaunt the haunted house? I I what? <laughs> Had you gone there for a second? What? I'm just jo joshing you. I have my fun. What is wrong with you? That was seriously messed up. <laughs> You're a good sport. You go outside now, dear. Let Grandma watch Judge Janice. Okay, I'll uh, see you around. Not likely. Little girl. What the fuck? Don't tell me what Grandma said. Why? When Grandma tells you something for you. It's yours, and if you give it away, it's gone. What does that mean? Watch this. Holy crap. Come on. No, Germ. I need you to answer some... I need some answers. <laughs> some voodoo shit is going on here right now. Apparently, Grandma wasn't joshing around. <laughs> Oh, if I time it, I feel like I jump higher. Wait, you're oh. skipping? I think that's the uncle. 
I seen you a whole bunch. I don't. I'm invisible. Don't let him spook ya. He's been working on your street. Department of Transportation. Is he one of the workers who would take the sunglasses? So. You don't see us, but we see ya. Oh yeah, hi. Thanks for uh fixing our street. Yup, yup. Weren't nothing. Yeah, he's been doing the easy work. My crew's been out climbing over those bridges in Salt Saltstown. Oh, they open yet? Hell no. I'll be the day. Austerity Barity. What? Nothing. You're Stan Borowski's kid, right? Yeah? We used to see him down at Miller's a bunch. Probably good we'll see him less now. Yeah. He didn't mean nothing by it. It's cool. Back when your dad was something else. He's up at Hand Panther now, right? Yeah. They're pretty anti-union, huh? Yeah, he's mentioned that. Hmm. Yup, yup. Your dad's alright, kid. Okay. Yeah, he's good. How do you know my dad? I don't. I just felt left out of the conversation. Okay, Jerm. You tell him Ham Panther management can go straight to hell. Okay, that's, uh, weird? Ain't nothing weird about it. Jeremy, we're going out to hunt with Hunwick this weekend. Yeah. What's in Hunwick? Oh, compu oh computer show. Oh, computer show. That's what I said. I'm going up for an old comp. What? Compidon? Compidon 80. Place. <clears throat> god damn. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Play some Wanderers of Clorgen. Clorgen. Clorgen? Clorgen. Bunch of dweebs over here. Yup, yup. Okay, well, if I bounce anymore, I'm gonna puke. No need to keep bouncing. I'm not gonna be lonely. Alright. So you can get off, I guess, or talk to him? But he's... You can land up there if you time the jumping, I guess. Can you not talk to him? That's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Okay, so like, why? That's the mama, right? I forgot her voice already. You're trying to imitate my uh, germ voice. Say germ voice again. Germ voice. Dinner. Eh. Hold that thought. I just want to know what the hell the grandma thing was. Okay. That was really good. I'm glad you like sloppy gels. Who doesn't? What we're going wait, what were you gonna say before dinner? Oh yeah. Weird to ask, but why did you invite me up here? I don't think even Greg's been up here? Nah. Greg's cool, but like Greg's got things pretty much figured out. Yeah, Greg's the best. Like, it seems like you've been having a hard time lately. And I thought you'd like to just like chill out for chill out for a bit. Everybody else is like going somewhere, or wishes they were. But you're just like, nah. I don't know. Yeah. So Jerem actually has been paying attention to you this whole time. That was nice. Thanks for dinner. Thanks. Thank my mom. No, just. Thanks. I... I had a really long fall. I know. Glad you like Sloppy Joes. Who doesn't? <laughs> that was actually really nice of him. Gotta go now. I'm not even mad, bro. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Jerm spooky. Jerm's got a whole family. Jerm, a good guy. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's. It's not like he just appeared out of nowhere in the parking lot one day. He just arose from the parking lot. That's what I thought! <laughs> I honestly thought the same thing.
<laughs> he was just spending time with you because you you seemed lost, but he didn't know how to approach it. Yeah, which is why he often said, okay, bye now. Okay, he, gotta go. Until he came up with the plan, like, hey, you want to come over and have sloppy joe? Or maybe he was waiting for the right time for the adults' day, adults' night, because there's always kids at the All house. All right, because it's only been a week. That's so weird. Fat pocket. Huh. Get out of here, bird. I want you. Oh, there's a rat. Oh, but there's rats all around. Ah, rat babies. And they're not running away from you either. They know I'm the mom. Has anyone complained? About what? You playing. I don't think anyone cares, honestly. Or they like it. I'm fine either way. Okay. I have to move closer because of Lori. I'm no. like in a comfortable position. No, no. I'll put the effort. Okay. I appreciate it though. Okay. You okay? Was that loud enough? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. Thanks for the advice, Doc. Don't mention it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't. Look at her face. I just. <laughs> Breathe, really. Breathe. Me? Okay? <laughs> Me? Uh. Sorry, space out there for a second. <laughs> what the fuck? You should like see a doctor again. <laughs> Wait, was she doing that cat thing when we were like you're agitated? Like, Maybe. I was just like. <laughs> that was weird. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. All right. Well, I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Well, that was that was just. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All these rats. It's beautiful. I made them. Yes, you did. Oh, I needed to see <clears throat> B, right? Yeah. Is no B was down this side. No. No. I'm directionally challenged in this game. Obviously. On a 2D side scrolling game. Yes, I am. I am directionally challenged. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah. Let's do it. The graveyard. <laughs> Foggy. Always got that evening lo fall fog. Why oh, can't? Oh my god, let me re, re, re Evening re re log. La la log. <laughs> Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Hey, B. Yeah. Sorry again for last night. Eh, it's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. It sure is. It sure is. It sure is. Is that the janitor? That's what I was thinking. Well, there's the statue. Ooh, also spooky. I thought you were like 
actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but like, whatever. So we wait here. Yeah. And a ghost shows up. This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things are like monumentally screwed right now and no one in power gives a shit or they're actively making it worse. Damn. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant like a skeleton or something. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? A skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's frowning. And he's your landlord. That's not... You're late on rent and you can't pay. And he's there to evict you. Jeez, B. And he's like, headless. Headless landlord! Brutally beheaded, now wandering the earth. I friggin' wish. Dude, that is scary, though. Yeah. But she's. But May said he's frowning, but he's headless. Oh, that's true. How is he frowning? You can sense the disappointment. <laughs> From your lack of rent. Yes. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something. This is dumb. Let's go. Well then. Okay. I mean, alright. This time May said it's stupid, so. That's true. I guess it's because we couldn't think of good stories. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a glass I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Yeah, let's look at some graves. Grave. Can I not jump I guess that not. way? Do I have to go down? Yeah. yeah. Let's check out some graves. Grave. Grave no man. Hmm. Oh, it's getting darker. Oh, well, it's I guess there. we're just following B. Hey. Hey. Is this? Yep. Oh. Yep. Oh god. The more is that what? Maybe Did we go back the way we came. I guess that's what they meant by checking out graves, because I couldn't jump onto the other one. Right. Ninety-five year old Rose. Hmm. <clears throat> Standard headstone. Nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Ninety-five years. Wow. When she was born. The most high-tech thing was horses. She had to like look out the window to see a horse. And now we have like pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. I mean, I guess that's one way to think about it. Yeah. Oh, 14. Aw, oh, dang. Lived like 14 years. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. That's so sad. The flu. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Evening. Evening. 
What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits the mom's grave. You. I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have you. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. Do you get spooked out here all by your lonesome? Nah, I work here. Tends to take the spook out of, uh, out of the place. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet. I will wicked wicked rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. <laughs> well, to see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. Wait. How does he know that? I told him I was looking for a ghost. Oh, right. Okay. Chillax, man. Bike. Brad is a bike. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He was, he was hit by a bike. And they, uh, engraved his murder on his gravestone. Forever shamed, that bike. Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Tick-tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. She said two or three. Holy crap, I am a jerk. She said two or three graves, and we just saw three, so... That's true. Plus a person. Yeah. No ghost though. Oh, um, great digger. But he wasn't there earlier. Where'd he come from? He probably came from the other side. What if he's a ghost? Yeah. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes, that's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in the pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard! They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet... Here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh, that's, uh, spooky. Yeah, not sure what's going up on there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Now can I go on this hill? Yes. I guess you can't do triple jump because you're walking. It's the teenagers. Oh. Uh, you were the, you were that guy, I think. How do you even have this memory, man? I don't know, man. Oh, weary travelers, you seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. Huh, oh wow. Hey guys. Do you know these kids? Oh yeah, hey Matt. What are you what are y'all doing? Okay, so We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate <clears throat> you're sitting in front of. we we govern who shall pass. And who shall remain? All right, well. Answer us these questions, truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! <laughs> Why are these 14 year olds just like curious about sex? Say yes. 
It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. Oh, okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This is when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this? Who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff and camp stuff. And apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. This what is what are these? Descri Describe your date dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. We go to the movies. Boring. Why is this? Why is this kid the only one talking? I don't know. You. Wrestling. Like you're gonna wrestle or you're gonna like watch wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl, but they'd have to be like, grr. Because I don't even want to date someone who's not, grr. So, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool and we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding and then we'd like, lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer! One time I farted in front of the class. Huh? <laughs> that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh, god. One time in high school, I went to the prom with this guy, Cole. Oh, wow, I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress, and I couldn't slow dance. And he was really nice and stuff, I guess. And I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You... Bit him? How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but it was bleeding a lot. So I like rushed him to the bathroom to get paper towels, so I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth, and I overdid it, and he starts choking and like fighting back, and I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress, so I'm like plowing through these almonds, and one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole has like slumped against the bathroom wall. I try to give him, give myself the Heimlich maneuver, and it works, but, but I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon bleu. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking and me puking into the sink. So I pull all the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason, I think to flush them down the toilet. And that makes it overflow, so I grab Cole and pulled him out of the bathroom. Both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left. And he was my ride. How did you get home? That kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom, so we're slowly driving to my house, car slowing down and honking while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. That was seriously messed up. May. I. I. I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have to come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. 
I'm burdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. Bullshit. You just had to look inside. Breathing rainbow. <laughs> what? Taste the rainbow, motherfucker. I'm dead. What the eff in hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. Ha 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 everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. I want to think that these kids are slowly breaking character as Mei was talking about her story. <laughs> I think they were, but legitimately, like, what the fuck was that story? I don't know. I wonder what would happen if I clicked on college. And the fact that Cole still wanted to say hi to her at the party. How nice of a guy was he? I guess pretty damn nice. And, like, Mei also said he's a good guy. It's just that, it's just that things were shitty. So, like, ghosts. Ghost? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah? So you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But like... Did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like people like they're not sitting around being ghosts it's more like echoes echoes of shit that happened to people that were here oh trust me none of the places look like super much fun your mom was rad as hell too rad to hang there haha uh -huh. that's like i appreciate you trying to turn this around i'm doing my best beatrice all right anyway so the bad news is that we're locked out by that big ass gate. Oh, uh, why make a giant gate in the graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out and stop what you're probably gonna do. Mm, yeah, we'll never know for sure. All right, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. So you're gonna wreck some shit. Oh, am I just triple jumping? Or something like that. There you go. I did it. And you're, you're gonna open the gate for her. No, it doesn't let me. Oh, I, no, it can't. I think I have to do something else. Oh, a tree. Okay, I think that's triple jump. Or, okay. or I guess I have to find something first. There's no way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? So yeah, it's the tree, I think. Oh, I'm gonna jump on the tree branch and it's gonna break on the gate and make it fall. Like the first night we were here. Yeah, oh. Am I gonna make it? Yes. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here, and it's getting late. Hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see? I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So what do we need to do? I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. They're totally gonna destroy stuff. Oh yeah, you know it. I suddenly got really tired. Oh man. It just hit you all at once. Daddy did. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground's here all swampy. Ugh, oh, gross. So what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around for ghosts. Uh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. 
May I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. So you go and find some shit. Any ghost over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. 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 You found graves at a graveyard? Wow. 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 I gotta edit that in now. This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried... Oh, wait. I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. They're not people either. Don't break the meta now. <laughs> Imagine the big horse sized coffin. Imagine. I don't, what am I trying to look for? I guess you're just looking at everything before. But like, go talk to B. Was that, is that everything we needed to see? Around this area, yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm going to smash this shit up. Uh, whoa, dude. Hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Oh. Okay, that doesn't sound right. Well, there you go. There's the sinkhole. Oh, gross. Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I told you not. I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Boy, is that. Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. Crap. So we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Yeah. She's a bad influence. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. We're seriously gonna open up a coffin. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Where's the way? The handle's up there. I'm, I'm reaching for it. She's just really shaky, man. So what? Foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. We're like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us. Oh God. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. K okay, find G's. Oh, there they go. Is it gonna be that person like running? Yep. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there! How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there! May, it was the groundskeeper or something, investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Oh, I saw the effing ghost! Why does no... Wow. 
is hallucinating now. Well, she looks a lot worse now. Uh, May, what's wrong? Uh, holy crap, uh, oh my head, jeez, uh, let's get to the car, I've got migraine pills and we can get you home. No, we need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Go get in the car. Thanks for like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So like, do you have an idea of what's going on? I have no idea, but there's a ghost and it's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Thank you for believing in me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering around up there alone at night. Close enough. All right, let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. All right, I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. There we go. Little Joe's dang skull. Must he be avenged? Saw him. There's the whole gang. When do you, did you? How have I never been back up here? Fences work. Nah, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. What does it be? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> be praying? Yo, yeah, well, need something to believe in. Yeah. Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, right? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all the all this back up in here? Shudder. What's up? Nothing. Just like all this old, old stuff out here. It's like it's here every night when you go to sleep. So, it's out here, in the dark, 
so old so old so old so old dude hey may i'm fine we should go back this is stupid no it's fine ghost hunt woo fun uh, so man. Out of it. yeah Major, I guess the characters just were hinting that she's just not okay this entire day since she woke up. Whoa, source of light. Saxophone guy? <laughs> hey, kid. You, want, you like jazz? What the? Huh? Oh my god. What the fuck? No! No! Aw, oh, hell. He's awake already. Anyone got any juice? No! No! Guys! Aw, oh, hell. Guys! Guys! Wait! Lurv, you knew this was gonna happen. Oh, is this the council? You knew it the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake! I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? One mistake? You left the goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. What was I supposed to do? It was you. It was your screw up. Oh, he's like stuck. And it wasn't like you could have got a call. You couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you've called me, Lerv. You think any of us will want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. Nothing to figure out. But, but I got family. Lerv, don't insult us. You know you don't gotta worry about Gen Genie and the girl. Genie and the girls. They'll be completely taken care of. They'll never want for no want for nothing. He's gonna not. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Oh hell. D Dave, Rick, Benny, guy, you know me. All right, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lerv. You know we got no choice, and I'd appreciate it if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. The fuck? No, no, no. Hold him still. No. Ah! Hold still. This will go easier if. Ah! All right, he's free. Lerv. Ah! Lerv. Hey, no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish and. Ah! Uh, all hell. Let's get this over with. Wish you'd just make this easy, Lerv. God, his bones sticking out. <gasps> the hell? Shit. May, May Borowski. Run! What the fuck, man? You better run. <laughs> I'm not pressing anything. You can jump, though. For those kind of shit. Oh! <laughs> was a gunshot. Mm-hmm. I think the part four like rolls over, but they're just there. Nice. Nice. Yep. I barely remember how to play this. It's like riding a bike. 
I play this game in my head when I'm falling asleep. Hmm. I like go over the plots of books I've read. Oh, look at this smarty. I try to remember every place I've ever been. In order. Wow. So they're looking at the TV, right? Yeah. All right. Well. I'm just B now. You're B now. I don't see anyone out there. Just wait. He'll be back. So we still have no idea who this is. Uh, big guy, dirty coat, or several. They could swap out. I can't tell. Okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Want some brownies? I'm making brownies. I got some soda, and yeah, maybe lasagna. Brownies? I got some mix last week. Why all the food? Oh, I forgot. Why all the food? I need to, need to eat. Everyone needs to eat. Aren't you, like, scared or worried? Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Oh, baby Angus. Thanks, Angus. You're extremely good. Oh, no more than anyone else. They're great. Part of your nutritious breakfast. So, no word from her parents? Nope. That's bad, right? Yup. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Wow. I am so tired. I could, like, curl up on their bed. There's, like, a whole living area under there. Yeah. Can't do anything. Did you just talk to them more, I guess? Yes. I played this until I broke one of the sticks. That's harsh. I don't screw around. That's the spirit. And you got a little bit more for Greg, I guess. This game had a great soundtrack. Very high school summer. I listened to like half the bands on it. We're going to see the blank, blank stones in a few days. Or we were. I don't know. Oh yeah, because Angus is away message. Mm-hmm. Oh, Angie. So that guy you saw in the woods at Possum Jump? Yo. Were those guys, like, that guy? Yup, sorta. He had a hat. Hmm. I need to defrost the lasagna. Or do I? Do you cook it frozen? There's some things that you cook frozen. Yeah. Getting dark earlier. It's getting... Is there nothing else? Oh. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yo. Yes, son. Wait, wait, everybody, shut up. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone, be very quiet. Oh my god. Am I trying to like walk back? Home. In the woods. I guess she was knocked out for the entire night. Oh, that's where she is. Yeah. Oh, so the fence is just gone now? Yeah, but there wasn't grass there before. I f yeah. And the food donkey's not even there. Nothing is there. I feel like maybe this is like a metaphor for her trying to come back from the dead. Maybe. 
Or like she's like at the brink point, right? Yeah. I feel like they, I feel like one of the characters said something about this, about like how there will be nothing. Was it the cat god? It was either, yeah, the cat god said there will be nothing. Yeah, this is where the tree is for your house. God is here, in this room. I believe that. Times like this, we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, maybe someone would like to say something about May. That'd be nice. May is my friend. Please God, let May be okay. She's really a nice person, even if she doesn't know it. I wrote her a part in the movie I want to make. Thrill Kill Witch Cult. Aww. I know she'd appreciate that. Who are you again? Lori Myers. This is the first time we heard her last name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lori. Anyone else? May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars. And, and she loved to hear about them. She. I'm sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as the kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce, and I just think it's not fair that May of all people should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Selma. Anyone else? I'll say something. May Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. I'll speak up. Go ahead. May was a daughter to all of us in the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope she we find out what exactly happened to her. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down the end of the Center Avenue. And someone was out there hunting illegally. And they got shot at. And May fell and... She must have fallen off a million things a million times. All of it takes, all it takes is landing the wrong way one time, and... Oh, well, I hope she wakes up soon and tell us all about it. See if she remembers who done it. I'm sure she... Wait, hunting illegally? That's totally not what we saw. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Are you here to clean up? Nah, I'm supposed to be fixing the door. In here? Nope. Okay, so... She's gonna be fine. For today, at least, ways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. Me! Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May, honey? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> 